mission of Downtown Women's Center is to end homelessness for women through housing, health care, employment, and advocacy. During COVID, of course, we made a lot of adaptations to how we serve women experiencing homelessness, but we certainly didn't stop services, and in fact, we enhanced them in many ways. So some of the main differences are that when women come to our day center, they're mostly being served outside under tents and canopies that have been set up by volunteers and still meeting with their case manager, their mental health clinician, the staff that are helping them find employment. We're just literally doing it outside. Since the pandemic, we've been giving out all their meals all in the morning between 9 to 10 a.m. At that time, we also provide hygiene, basic needs. We are the first point person for them to come access services inside our parking lot. Due to COVID-19, our services um, for case management are outside now. Um, usually there's about three to four case managers and we see um, three per case manager, so about 12 or nine women per day. And then we also have a clinician usually on site for mental health services as well. And then later in the day, I believe um, the domestic violence case management team comes at like 1 p.m. Most critically, we've expanded how many meals that we offer. Um, so originally we had about five to 600, now we're serving about a thousand per day. And everyone gets all their meals all at once now. In our permanent supportive housing, of course, these women were able to stay at home during the pandemic. Because of safety, um, we had to close down everything, our day center, um, our community rooms. They're doing the best they can, but it's hard, it's hard. We have a registered nurse on staff who's done home visits. With COVID, there were no gaps in our health services. They were still able to meet with a clinic and make their appointments. We just had to change the structure. So now they have a different entrance and a different way of getting connected. But we've been able to offer those services um, since the beginning. You know, through COVID, all members of our community have really stepped up and shown their dedication to our work. Our staff have been so tremendous through this effort, listening to the needs of the women and showing up in different ways. Of course, we have some staff now working remotely and shifting to that, yet still helping us be a vibrant community for the women. And of course, the women have been so flexible and understanding as you know things have really shifted. And this is where we clothe all our ladies. And that's starting from the ladies that enter into our downtown women's center and all of our residents and anyone that's off the street coming to us for services. I started in 2002 and now it's 2021 and I just enjoy it. I do. I really do. One of the new aspects at Downtown Women's Center and a way that we've been able to expand to meet the needs of our unhoused neighbors is through the initiative called Project Room Key. FEMA is literally reimbursing our city and county for the opportunity for people to live in hotels. And Downtown Women's Center is the service provider for one hotel where we serve 60 women at any given time. At our Project Room Key hotel site, we provide uh, the case management needed to help women move from the hotel into permanent housing. You know, across this world, COVID has been hard. But really, it shined a light for everyone to have a deeper understanding of, of how atrocious it is that we've allowed as a society homelessness to exist at all. We now have more community support and more community understanding around this crisis, and we're only going to respond. We know the need is there, and we know that we have the backing of the community, and we're going to do everything we can to create more housing opportunities for women.